Express here on the Naugatuck Railroad. My name's Ryan, I'm your conductor here this evening. Or since this afternoon. This is express service between Cautious Chocolates and Waterbury and Thomaston. This service runs on the hour with departures out of Thomaston at 12, 1, 2, and 3. Departures out of Cautious are 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, and our final departure from Fosha's at 3.30. If you get off the train at Fosha's Chocolates when we arrive, the train will be back in approximately one hour from the time you got off to pick it back up to go back to Thomaston. You can take any of our departures from Fosha's back to Thomaston. Just keep in mind our last departure is at 3.30. and certain uh, robber gun punching tickets. We're going to be coming around with a beverage cart. Today we have available Clocktown Brewing Company. We have our exclusive Thomaston Station Lager and our sidetracked Blackberry Sour Ale, as well as a variety of Sunset Meadows wine. History about the cars you're riding in. Uh, the coach car was built in 1926. The oldest car on our train that nobody's currently in is up next to the blue locomotive. That is 1923, it's 100 years old, and our lounge car is 1927. All of our passenger cars on this train today were used in the movie Revolutionary Road, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, and all of these cars have been the Grand Central Terminal in New York. They were retired from daily service from Montreal. These cars were built for the Canadian National Railway, served all over Canada and down to New London, Connecticut on the central Vermont. After their retirement, they were purchased and then donated by a donor to the Railroad Museum of New England in 1995. They have undergone extensive work, especially in recent years, and the next major car is the 5114, which will be painted on the exterior to match the rest of the fleet. The lounge car, for example, that restoration took over a year and cost over $100,000. Hey, we're going to be going slow here. This is an area we call Reynolds Bridge. Reynolds Bridge is a three-arch construction bridge at the time of its construction. It was the second largest concrete arch bridge in the world, and it is now in the National Register of Historic Places. It was also one of the few bridges in the valley to survive the devastating flood of 1955. If you look across the river, you'll see an arch kind of buried in the tree line. The third arch was for the Connecticut Company trolley line that ran between Thomaston and Waterbury, and that was abandoned in the early 1930s. The big arch is for the Naugatuck River, and the other smaller arch is for our train tracks here today. And the track we're riding on was constructed between 1845 and 1849. The Naugatuck Railroad was chartered in 1845, and service all the way to Winstead began in 1849. The entire line that we're on below us was originally built by hand. No machinery was around at the time to construct the railroad, so it was all manual labor.
The Naugatuck Railroad is one of the oldest operating railroads in the country. It predates the American Civil War, and it also predates the American Transcontinental Railroad by over 20 years. We have records of troops from the Civil War from Litchfield marching down the hill and boarding the train during the Civil War to go fight forces in the South. We also have record of this railroad being used during World War I to haul troops from Torrington off to the battlefields overseas. This brings up an important point. The car that I'm in is a 1945 U.S. Army troop sleeper. After the war, it was sold to the New Haven Railroad for pennies on the dollar and converted into a railway express car. It is now used as our crew car and support car, which comes in handy during our uh, alcohol-themed trains as well as our Christmas operation. <laughs> oh, <am> <laughs> restoration shops. There is where the majority of the museum's collection is held. And that building is equivalent to six locomotives. You can fit six locomotives indoors or four passenger cars. And it's home to everything it takes to keep the railroad running. the Naugatuck River on Jericho Bridge. Jericho Bridge is the longest bridge here on the railroad. Make sure to keep a lookout for wildlife and we'll get some nice views of the frog foliage and the hills in the background. Once again, Jericho Bridge.
Coming up on the river side of the track, so a nice view of the Nugatuck River on the inside of the next curve. Also, keep an eye out for that Bob Eagle that lives in the area. Crossing the Naugatuck River on Chase Bridge. This will be another good opportunity to view the river and the fall voids. like me because he has a one-parter for him at the top.